Okay, well, I guess at least that was only a very short temporary loss there. Oops. Man, I don't not know what's up with my internet tonight. It just doesn't want me to finish this part. There we go. <laughs> and Kasumi gets the kill. <laughs> and then heals, because why not? Whoa. Nope, no money or experience for beating this boss. Way to repeat yourself. Don't be silly. Funky acid trip effects time.
It's a shame the Sovereign Rune couldn't protect him from uh, the magic barrage I laid down. This is true. Kasimi only needs the suplex. <laughs> that is no magic. That is ninja. Oh no, he was a load-bearing emperor. Suplexing a dragon's head is still ninja. <laughs> Such is the power of ninja. Damn it, Victor. Don't be a hero.
this line. That's a good question, Yoshi. Apparently, um, whatever archer was over in that section that shot the arrow just saw a flick block it and gave up. It's like, oh, I, I can't shoot him now. And Hicks and Tenger get a special animation because why not, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it is it does feel a little bit uh, premature in the celebration. Oh, you only guess much, huh? huh? Hey, perfect timing there. Yeah, that was definitely the title screen music. Which is why the timing was pretty good, because otherwise it would have looped and been really weird. When do we get to Rex Sanchez? We don't. Yep, that's the ending. Yeah, it is a little anticlimactic, I'll admit that. <laughs> You're gonna riot? <laughs> As I said before, this first game is quite a bit rougher cut compared to the other ones. 
the second one does a ton to improve on the story. Like, it's probably a whole caliber a, a, at least ahead of this. Also, I forgot just how insanely fast these endings go by. There's certainly no awakening pace, that's for sure. Yeah, and I guess the faster pace is definitely better, um, considering how many uh, characters there are to account for. Not quite Yoshi yet, uh... It starts a few years after this one, if I remember correctly. So the world's had a bit of time to change. Although not a whole time. Let's just say that this first game still leaves a pretty lasting impression that affects a decent chunk of the second game. Mm, what's the point of flicking Victor's endings? Well... We'll find out. <laughs> yes, Tyr did beat Kryn to uh, the whole thievery thing. 
Well, maybe Quinn stole uh, some less valuable stuff that wasn't uh, combat gear. Or I guess less valuable to me, but uh, more valuable to a thief like him. For instance, some of that, those uh, the gold, gold ornamenting and whatnot. At least I think there was some around it. Or maybe he just made off with all the chairs, who knows. <laughs> it might have been a self-insert. Can't say for sure though. <laughs> yeah, it's like those random dialogue lines, too, that were just all lowercase. Mm, that is true. <laughs> Maybe someone accidentally left their caps lock off while they were writing that. Oh! But, uh, just a couple back, there was one that was um, done with normal punctuation. <laughs> Capital letter and then the rest of the lowercase for both parts of his name. Well, I guess the credits are as, about as consistent as the rest of the game and things. <laughs> Could say that much about it. Nineteen ninety seven. Suppose that's not the oldest game people have streamed, but still makes me feel like an old man. Yeah, the rest of the games will make up for it. Also, Tyr and Grimio totally did the uh, disappearing thing before it was cool and Ike and Soren did it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the end tier in Grimio. I think that's, yeah, that's completely it. So, um, I think I'm gonna try to go into, uh, sweep it into right away. Um, so I'll need to uh, get the PSN store sorted out. Um, luckily I uh, went back and got my account all figured out uh, a few weeks ago, so... Uh, I'm halfway there, I just have to remember how to use a PSN store to buy the second game. <laughs> um, 
I will probably try to avoid an interlude, but if I run into issues, we may have a uh, Tuesday where I do a throwback to something like Days of Ruin or, I don't know, maybe play, play some Double Dragon Neon, something like that. So yeah, that's um, that's the uh, I guess a uh, rough half cut gem that is a uh, sweet and one. There's definitely a lot of things that show it, its age in this game, and it's uh, it's been quite interesting for me because I. Uh, I didn't play this for the first time until well into the PS2 era as well, so streaming it now, there's definitely more things I've noticed even since then where it's it just hasn't aged well at all. <laughs> to say nothing of that translation. <laughs> so uh Yes, the only spoiler will be that not a lot happens. So anyway, um, I'll be back on Friday for uh, Reset with Lunatic Plus at 7 p.m. Pacific. Then after that, we'll be uh, doing more Explorers of Sky on Sunday. And that'll be at 9 p.m. Pacific. We can solve all those dangling plot threads, like all, or I guess continue to follow the plot threads, and all like half dozen of them, including the wiggly tough drug stuff. <laughs> um, and then hopefully Tuesday uh, I'll have everything ready to go for Suikoden 2. I'll be at uh, 9 p.m. Pacific as well. So yeah, that's the upcoming schedule. Sorry about uh, all the internet issues, guys. Uh, I guess at least the uh, downtime was pretty sparse, all things considered. Usually if uh, if my internet dies for more than a couple minutes, it's usually out for like an hour or so. We are kind of lucky that uh, it came back. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hope to see you Friday, and have yourselves a good night.